Hey there YouTube, this is Lisa the Raichu bringing you some new news for the Pokemon X and Pokemon Y TCG set. Currently, the um, entire list for the new set is on Bulbapedia, but I'm just going to show you the cooler stuff like the EXs and the full arts and the Mega Revolution cards. First, I'm going to show you the legendaries. We have Xerneas EX and Eveltal EX, which look pretty cool. Uh, I'll have a link to the page where it's where it has the entire set below, um, so you can check that out for yourselves. I'm not going to bother going through all the cards, all the attacks, blah blah blah. You can look it up for yourself if you're that interested in the TCG because I know many of you may not be. So I'm literally just going to show you the pictures and if you're interested in getting into the TCG there's loads of information out, for, out there for that. So I'm going to look first at Xerneas EX, such a pretty pretty fairy card. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to Fairy coming out as the new type in the TCG. Also, its attacks are... they're okay. Um, it takes a lot of setup, I think, unless they bring out something for that. Eveltoli X also looks really cool. It has like a nice little starburst thing going on in the background I guess. Um, as far as its attacks go, Evil Ball. Wow, couldn't have thought of a better name. It That one is kind of like a Mewtwo EX ripoff, essentially. Uh, its second attack it isn't as strong as Evoltal's second attack, but I think it definitely has a better effect and it takes a lot less energy to use. Another one is Skarmory EX and it seems to have pretty decent uh, HP and attacks and the picture looks quite dynamic and cool. One I was surprised to see was Emolga EX. Um, normally in the TCG so far, Amolga has never been like a power card essentially. It was mainly used for its call for family ability. Its attacks are okay. I think people are more going to want to use it just because it's cute. But the, it only takes one electric energy and the rest are colorless, which can be quite useful. Next, we have Venusaur EX. Uh, I like the image this guy has, and it only needs two grass energy for either of its attacks. Like, to cover it for the entire thing, it needs two grass energy, one for the first one, two for the second one. And then colorless, which is good. As far as its attacks go, I like the fact that it can heal 30 damage from itself with jungle hammer, but... I don't think, you know, for an EX, it's that good. Um, poison Powder is good because it does 60 damage and then poisons the Pokemon, which you hit them for 70 after you attack, which is quite cool. Uh, Blastoise EX, I quite like the artwork on this one. I think it looks really badass. Um... Its splash bomb attack is a bit hit and miss. It does 120, which is quite cool, but it could end up doing 30 to itself, which I'm not too sure about. I don't think I'd want to use that myself. Um, its first attack, Rapid Spin, does 30, and then you can switch it with one of your bench Pokemon, and then your opponent switches it with one of his or her active bench Pokemon. So it's kind of like an escape rope, in the sense, in like the way it does the switching. But 
with an extra 30 damage, and it only takes two colorless energy, which is pretty good. But I still don't think I'd want to use it in a deck, unless it has something... Unless something good comes out to make it better. Uh, that's it for the full art. And we've got the items down here. We will be getting a Max Revive Evolution Soda. Which looks uh, quite interesting. Roller Skates. Muscle Band. Professor Sycamore. Team Flare Grunt. Rainbow Energy is coming back. Super Potion, Professor's Letter, Red Card, Hard Charm, Cassius, Tieno, and Double Colorless Energy again. Which is cool, I guess. I'm interested to see the Double Colorless again. It helps people who don't have them get them because of sets that are maybe out of print now or whatever. Uh, we have our fairy types coming out in the set. We have Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, of course. Uh, Swirlix and Slurpuff. We also have Spritzy and Aromatisse. I'm quite confused as to why Sylveon is not in this set, to be fair. I thought it really would have been, but I guess not. Um, we also have... The Mega Evolutions coming out in this set with Mega Venusaur EX. I believe there should be more. There's uh, Blastoise EX. Mega Blastoise EX is coming out in the set. Not seeing any Charizard EX or Mega Charizard EX. So that's a bit disappointing in my opinion. I would have liked to have seen that, but I feel that maybe it would have been a bit too overpowered. But, <clears throat> yeah, that's it for this video. Sorry for all the mumbling and stuff. My throat's a bit funny because I was out last night at a party. Um, but, yeah, guys, this has been... Um, a video for the next TCG set that's coming out for Pokemon X and Y. Um, I will put the link to the article below so you can check it out for yourselves. Tell me what you think. Um, yeah. Sorry for the terribly unscripted video. I have literally been stuck working on university deadlines all day so I've taken this quick break to show you guys this that I just found uh, if you'd like more TCG news let me know I'm more than happy to do that or if you wanna see more Pokemon showdown or anything like that like anything you wanna see me do I'll do it Pokemon related of course uh, yeah guys I'll catch you later